A nursing assistant is dead and two police officers injured after a gunman opened fire inside a Philadelphia hospital. Police say the shooter wore scrubs and body armor when he shot and killed his co-worker at Thomas Jefferson University Hospital. They say the man took off in a U-Haul truck followed by a shootout with police. The suspect was eventually taken into custody. Right now, police do believe that shooting was targeted, and today local hospitals are reacting. They say they take all possible measures to protect their employees, but are they enough? KDK investigator Andy Sheehan spoke with the healthcare systems and a local security expert. Both UPMC and the Allegheny Health Network say they are prepared for incidents like this, but workplace violence is a problem for all employers. The terrifying spree of violence began here at Thomas Jefferson Hospital when police say a 55-year-old employee in scrubs shot a 43-year-old nursing assistant and killed him. Later, police shot, wounded, and arrested the man, but not before he wounded two officers. That male, who was the shooter, fired at the officers, and four of the officers returned fire. We learned that he was wearing body armor and was carrying multiple weapons uh, in addition to the long gun, which was believed to be an AR-15. Like AHN, in a statement, UPMC declined to discuss security details, but says they're prepared for such events. Quote, for the safety of our patients, visitors, and employees, we do not discuss our specific security measures. UPMC's elite police department closely monitors events in the communities we serve and is highly trained and prepared to respond to emergencies. The former FBI agent and security expert Larry Lycar says for employers, it's far easier to defend against threats from the outside than it is from within when it involves your own employees. Workplace violence incidents, why we've had so many, they're difficult to predict uh, and often they're difficult to prevent. Lycar says it's unrealistic to scan and search all employees every day. Instead, he says companies should set up confidential reporting systems for employees to anonymously report other employees who are imbalanced and pose a threat. Usually the employees themselves will know some of the problem people in their workplace, but they're afraid to say anything about it. So you have to set up a system that they can call or, or send a mail, uh, some method that you're going to get the head of security. Buddy warns that in firing an employee, a company may set itself up for a, a retaliatory attack. And so he has advised companies to give those employees a healthy severance package to leave without deep-seated resentments. If you don't do that, for some individuals, uh, they're, they're just going to take that and they'll dwell on it and they become a threat. Now the health care systems say they are constantly reviewing their security procedures, but guarding against workplace violence both inside and out will always be a work in progress. Reporting at Allegheny General Hospital, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.